Greetings viewers and uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to get better frames in Battlefield 4. So there's a bunch of different steps that I've come up with that I've used throughout my testing and lots of pain long time trying to fix my Battlefield 4. But um, to start things off the first thing that I recommend is getting Windows 8.1 just because Windows 8 has better CPU optimization for gaming so you just it less background stuff is going on so you have more focus on the game and then the next thing is to update your Battlefield 4 DX story drivers the game did not come installed with everything all the DX story files installed so what you gotta do is go to your PC go to where your Windows is installed, Program Files 86, go down to your Origin Games, Battlefield 4, Installer, DirectX, Redist, and then scroll all the way down to DX Setup. Now you just run this, well you click yes, it'll bring up the DX Story install menu, and you install the drivers. Uh, the next thing you can do is not many people if you have an Intel CPU if you have an um, AMD this won't work um, you gotta disable your core parking so basically Intel does this thing where they tell the cores to like not do anything when they're not working so it'll like turn them off when they're not doing anything and sometimes when you're gaming this will cause a lot of just random drops in frames because the CPU CPU will think it's not doing anything and it'll shut down and then it really is doing something so you just lose frames um, so you want to unpark these so just go to the uh, link in the description go here scroll all the way down to this click on that it'll download it and then you go to go to your downloads unpark CPU on, uh, extract it and when you extract it run this right here it'll bring up this menu you click check status this will go on for a little bit it'll check your cores and then when they come up right it takes a while <laughs> even for Intel CPUs I have an i7 uh, when they come up press unpark all and when they're unparked you should be all set you can click out of that next up um, config files so basically go into your battlefield folder again go to PC program files 86 origin games battlefield 4 and what you're gonna wanna do here let me take this out of here is right click in here press new new text document name it config or no we want it to be user dot cfg open it up and in the description you'll see my config file it's all this what you're going to do is copy and paste all that into the document. You want to hit, hit File, Save As, User, and you're going to want to save it as All Files, User.CFG. Now if you go back here, you should see a notepad file that says user, and it should say CFG file. Click on it again, it'll open it up, make sure it's all there. Okay, now that we're done with that, that just, um, that's for a 120 hertz monitor. Um, if you want to cap it at 60, go ahead, just change max variable FPS to 60 right here. And basically what this is doing is it displays your FPS for you. It disables a lot of motion blur and just stuff that you don't need that'll make your game run a lot faster. So that's that. Another thing you can do is 
set your FOV in Battlefield 4 to 70 or lower than like 90 just because the FOV in Battlefield 4 is really messed up and it just when you go above 70 it just starts getting weird and you can get better frames by going at a lower FOV so I have it takes a while to get used to but trust me it's worth it another thing you can do in the game is turn off post processing so ev the third the last three uh, um, configurations or settings and the video settings are post process turn them to low um, off low and then off in the game the next thing you can do is go to this um, link in the description this is game booster I've been using this for a while on my other laptop and basically don't use it unless you have a lo uh, bad CPU um, what it does is just optimizes your CPU for better for gaming you can read up on it but I use it you just download it you make a Razer profile you sign in go to utilities boost now and it'll just boost your game I haven't seen much good for performance from it sometimes it makes it worse but it's something to try stuff like this is all trial and error okay the next thing is your control panel for Nvidia if this is an Nvidia if you have an Nvidia card I recommend doing Intel and Nvidia don't go AMD and, and Intel it just doesn't work you wanna find your Nvidia on the bottom right click go to control panel and it'll bring up any second now your 3d settings you wanna go to manage 3d settings go to global settings not program settings and find power power management mode you're gonna wanna change this to wow this is being slow here it is uh... prefer maximum performance this will make sure your gpu is always at maximum performance using as long as you have a good enough cooling device and it's not a laptop this sh you won't worry about overheating don't worry uh... the next thing you can do is threaded optimization this should be on it just makes sure that all of the cores and just everything utilizes um, everything's being utilized for your games all the time nothing ever takes a break <laughs> so this will get rid of a couple like frame drops and stuff like that um, next thing you can do threat optimization okay another thing that intel processors do sometimes i didn't have any when i started up mine but let's see you want to go to your control panel no you want to go into your explore go to this pc right click this pc go to properties it'll bring up this window right here go to advanced system settings go to advanced click on settings go to advanced here and this should say zero right here if it doesn't press change and mine doesn't have any because it's windows 8 and it didn't come with uh, anything like that you shouldn't have any virtual memory so if you do try figure out a way to get rid of it <laughs> I just clicked on no paging file that should fix it currently allocated zero should be zero and other than that you should now be getting around 20 frames more in battlefield and if that's not enough then just get a better PC man <laughs> I run battlefield 4 at 120 Hertz I keep it at a constant 120 FPS sometimes it drops down to 100 or 90 on like Pearl Market and crazy maps like that but um, I run on a mix of high medium and low settings my lowest setting is the post processing and lighting effects because no one I don't really care about lighting effects I'm all about performance rather than quality but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed hopefully um, You'll get some better frames per second in Battlefield 4. I know I did. Helped my game a lot. Post in the comments, after doing all this, what kind of uh, frame increase did you get? I want to hear you guys' opinion on uh, 
and also post what you have done to uh, help increase your frames. And if there's anything I missed, uh, post something in the comments. Make sure, because it's all about working together and figuring out the best way to uh, go about doing this. But this has been my guide to getting better frames per second in Battlefield 4, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. That was easy.